two, three. composition I've created and it's entitled two bluegrass solos in the key of G number three so obviously I have a handful of these at the site already and what they are is you know basic bluegrass chord progressions each one of course is different but you know very common bluegrass chord progressions that you'll hear and for this week we're gonna be in the key of G but we're gonna start everything on the four chord of it so the progression the melody starts on the C, the four chord of the key of G, of course. And that creates a nice little energy and a little texture about it. So I've created two arrangements for it. One that we're gonna kind of, the first one we'll play in the lower register. And then the second time through, we'll play up in the higher register and the higher strings, okay? So you can kind of see how I'll take a melody, play it in one place in the neck or the lower register, and then move, bump it up an octave and play it in the higher register, okay? So this lesson will come with about 35 to 40 minutes of video, downloadable PDF tabs, and four audio backing tracks, all right? So if you want to access the full length lesson, just click the link down there below, and it will shoot you onto my website. And if you really like the way I teach and approach learning, you love bluegrass, old time, country, folk music, learn about being a premier member for a monthly, quarterly, or yearly fee, you can access this full length lesson in over 350 full length videos in all three of my courses. I've got a beginning course, a rhythm course, and a soloing course over there. Give it a look. If you enjoy my instruction, you feel like I might be a good fit for you. For now, we're gonna walk through the first few measures of the first solo here uh, for two bluegrass solos in the key of G number three. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down two bluegrass solos in G number three. And this is the first solo within this lesson here course starting at the beginning and this you know particular solo progression whatnot it's gonna start you know we're in the key of G but it's gonna start on the four chord so the C um, you know you kind of hear on the backing track of course I do two measures of G but essentially again the melody the chord progression all starts everything starts when I get to the four chord okay and that adds a different dynamic to the piece and it, it's really a lot of fun. It seems to really provide a lot of energy when everything kind of starts on the four chord. And uh, yeah, I don't have any, I don't have too many lessons. It's kind of like a white Freightliner Blues does that as well. It's another popular tune. But yeah, starting on the four chord. So I'm going to play these first three measures for you and then break them on down slowly. He, here's what they sound like. And it starts on beat three, so we got a little pickup. So one, two, three, four, one, two. creating a little syncopation which helps again kind of drive the solo um, so measure one starts on beat three those first two markings are just quarter note rests and you know it does say G chord there in the first measure but on that beat three we got a kind of a partial G run there so open a first fret hammer two and then open D and you can slide one to two hammer both will totally work here, but I have written hammer on in there. And go to measure two, I'm gonna play the C chord, I'm gonna finger the C chord and play the open G note. So that's where the melody is, on that G. And then I'm gonna strum. Uh, that's zero, one, zero, it's two, eight. Um, that's kind of the bottom 
are the highest sounding three strings of the C chord. And there's two of them, right? Two eighth notes, they're connected by a beam there. One, two, and... And we'll see that again a little bit where we strum, play a melody and do a little, just strum to kind of fill it in, especially in the first arrangement. And then beat three of the second measure, open G again. Then open G, followed by second fret D. You don't have to move any fingers in that measure. And then right here we got an eighth note, big eighth note run in measure three. Okay, the melody's still kind of on that G note, but we're bouncing around. So open G. 2nd fret G, pull to 0, 2nd fret D, open G, back to 2nd fret D, pull to 0, open G. Ready, go. Watch out for down up up down up up. Remember the hammer on or the pull off takes the place of a pick direction. Super important to know to master. Um, if you've seen if you've been following my lessons for a while, you certainly heard me talk about it and probably have you know a good understanding of it. But just a reminder for anybody, hammer ons and pull offs typically will replace the pick direction. Okay, you, know, you could take measure three and add in the pick directions if you wanted. You know, hammer-ons, pull-offs give it more expressiveness and give it a little bit more drive and, and so forth. And, but you could totally pick it um, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You know, just take them out, put the correct pick directions. In those pick directions, the rule there is down picks on down beats. One, two, three, four up picks on up beats so the and one and two and that's the rule of thumb now, all rules are meant to be broken but for now for our purposes that's how we go about it so those three measures one more time one two three four one two Next few measures, get back to the one chord. So we're gonna make use of the lower register in this first arrangement, a little bit here and then more towards the end as well, um, especially over that five chord over the D. But measure four, we're gonna land on the open D so you're going to be fingering the G chord, going back to the one, but the D note will be the melody there. So open D, and then I'm going to just strum the G. That's the 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3. One, two, and... And then 0, 2, hammer on the D. Open D. Third fret A. And then next measure, we land on the second fret A. That's the melody note, the B note. Okay. One, two, three, and four, and one. And then we strum after that. And then zero, two hammer on the A. Open D. Second fret A. And then the next measure, we go to the D chord. I'm going to finger the D, but the melody note will be on the low A. So it might be kind of different there, but you know, we can have the A note in the melody, that's totally fine. Strum the D, then zero to hammer on the low E, open A, second fret A. So all three of those measures together, one, two, three, four. I went on just a little bit into measure seven. Again, two, three, four. So I'm a 
back up and play the first six measures for you. So everything we've worked on so far, just put it in context a little bit. So from the very beginning, one, two, three, four, one, two.